Hey YouTube, it's Andrews from Reality Gaming. I hope you guys are good. This is a very simple tutorial on how to get your ACE updated and working. Now this is predominantly a tutorial for RG members, however it can be used for general usage to get yourself set up with the latest versions of ACE. So let me show you how to do that. First of all, if you are one of our members you want to navigate to your Armour 2 directory. Now within the Armour 2 directory you will find the necessary files which will be there in Bohemia Interactive. Now mine are located in games so make sure that you've got your ACE, PLA, Russia, Sound Mods, anything that you've already pre-installed make sure they're in that folder. Now the next thing you're going to do is navigate to the six updated website and actually download the application. So bring up your web browser and if you'd like to go to the following address this will be provided in the description below it's www.6-updater.net you can then navigate to the download page and you will see the link located here now what you want to download is whatever the latest link is referenced here now this could change depending on the time and date of this video but hopefully the latest version will be located there download now once you've downloaded this it will actually take a little while, it's about 15 megabyte depending on your connection speed um, save it to your desktop or to your local download folder um, I've actually got one I've downloaded earlier which is here now all you have to do is click on this you can run it as administrator if you want, I can do that now and it's self extracting, it will install, you just have to choose where it's installed, keep the default directory um, once again this is a very simple way just to keep your ACE up to date. Next, organization. You don't have to fill all this in obviously but uh, I'll do it for the video. And then you come to where it's going to be installed. Now this is an optional file and obviously I've got x86 here because I'm using Windows 7 64 bit. But this will just give you a default folder in your program files directory don't worry it will leave desktop shortcuts install and while that's installing this is just really the quickest and easiest way to download ACE2 and keep it up to date now if you're a member of a different community they'll likely have a repository which we're going to be setting up for our own mods very shortly which will allow you to connect directly to their server and download the needed mods so what you'll do when you first launch the program six launcher will pop up now this was as I believe made predominantly for Daisy um, you can use this feature to easily download the Daisy mod and find Daisy servers but we're actually going to be using six updater so once this is loaded up just close it down go to the six updater shortcut don't confuse it with the install you can pop that away now it's done launch and then it will start to initialize. Now at this stage there's going to be depending on the speed of your computer a bit of a delay. It could be up to five minutes where it will initialize the back end and do various other tasks to make sure it works accordingly. It's also I believe scanning for your Armour 2 directory and making sure that you've got the necessary mods there or checking what you have there already. So in actual fact what this add-on download is doing is checking what you've already got in your default Bohemia Armour 2 directory. It should find out that information from the registry although there is an option to state where your arm is installed if it doesn't automatically detect it and I'll put a guide in the bottom of the description for you there as well. So as you can see this is just taking a little while to kick off. Um, while that takes time to load it's just really a case of being patient. Um, there's nothing more you can do. So the program is launching now and here we are 6 updater 2.9.7 pre now at this stage you should be able to see exactly what you're doing you can see what version of Arrowhead you have what your install path is it's also got information on servers and their protections here which you won't worry about and what you're really interested in is this option here 
So you should, once you've clicked on this list, have all the items that need to be updated. Now if you're updating from the RG Pack 3.0 and the version of Ace we've been using, all of these options should be yellow. Now that's just telling you that the actual version you have is a mismatch to what the latest version of Ace is. Now the way this is going to operate at Reality Gaming is when you're instructed to update your Ace, do so and you'll do it via this method. We're going to be doing this as of August the 1st. Okay, so in order to download and update your Ace as I've done here and here already, as you can see the only files that really need updating in my depository are the Advanced Combat Environment Russia and the US Navy. So I'm going to show you how to update those. You do it one by one. So you would right click, go down to Updater Actions, Install or Update Mods and Process BI Keys. If you click that, you'll see a working option. It will execute and in this instance it's going to be done pretty quick because there's no update needed. So just wait for that to fulfill its task. It says it's working down here in the bottom right hand corner and we're done. Okay, so we're going to repeat that process for the rest of the files here. So we're going to do that with the Russian files here. Now, as you guys know, ACE isn't a small download. So in many instances, we're dealing with files in this case of 247 megabyte. It's going to take some time to download and check and install these files. So what I suggest you do is one at a time go through the list and make sure everything's updated. Now within this installation guide there is no information on Acre or TeamSpeak. In order to find out how to install Acre and TeamSpeak you're going to have to check out the next video. We've also got a guide coming up on how to install the latest mods and files for the RG packs, that's the Island pack and our general gaming pack 4.0 including the content that's coming from the deployment packs. So guys check out the website you can see our address here it's www.realitygamer.org and hopefully this guide's been of help to you in getting your Acre installed and your Ace set up to play at Reality Gaming. Oh, and remember guys, if this video has helped you out, please take the time to rate, comment, and subscribe. Cheers. Andrew's out.